Every spring for a short time, the winds whipping at the summit of Mount Everest relent just enough to give mountaineers from all over the world a crack at reaching the very top of it. For Rebecca Long, a 29-year-old climber from Boston, that chance came on May 17th when she stood on the summit and realized a dream. There were some tears coming into my eyes, just like finally struggling for months, but it's just devastatingly beautiful up there and so, so scary too. This was a record year on Mount Everest for the number of permits issued by Nepal's government. Most of the climbers from the U.S., China and India, but it's also shaping up as the deadliest. At least 12 climbers have died and five are still missing, according to a database that tracks fatalities. Overcrowding remains one of the most serious safety issues. Remember that video from 2019 that showed bottlenecks and long lineups? Well, it was no better than this year. That was probably the most um, the, ter the most terrifying part to me because there was just a line of people going in both directions too. So um, as you're trying to pass everyone coming the other direction to go to the summit. For generations, Mount Everest at 29,029 feet above sea level has symbolized the ultimate in mountaineering adventures. Oxygen so scarce at the top, it's known as the death zone. Temperatures as low as minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a summit behind me. Which makes what Hari Buddha Magar did all the more remarkable. A former soldier in the British Army's Gurkha Regiment, he lost both legs to an IED in Afghanistan in 2010. Became the first ever double amputee to stand on top of the world. We submitted at 3.10 normally. Uh, people submit at 8, 9 o'clock in the morning and pretty much no go after the 12 o'clock. Uh, but uh, if you want to make a history, I think we need to take a little bit of risk. He did it on prosthetic legs made in the U.S. to prove that no goal is impossible. We'll inspire not just uh, this generation, but I think we'll, we also inspire uh, for the next generations. Janice Mackey Frayer, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.